Warning, what you are about to see and hear is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are our opinions and do not reflect the views of BTW21 or its staff. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel and Chad. God is looking for someone real. People are looking for something real. Just be real. Welcome to the Be Real Podcast, the podcast. Your host, Daniel Lewis, Brother Chad Hudson, and Hello. Beckerhead. Yeah. We're here to uh, interview once again our favorite friend, one of our friends. Uh, we got many friends, but this guy, he is a icon, a idol, a staple of Patrick County, Virginia. And I hope he knows that. I hope he realizes that. I don't think he he don't like the titles. Right. So that's why I added them all on there. Hmm. He just well, don't I'm like the titles. I'm glad he did that because uh, I you know. Brother Galen Gilbert. Here. John Galen Gilbert. The man has been with Patrick County Volunteer Fire Department forever. He's been with Jeb Stewart Rescue Squad forever. And now he's the president, right? You're president of the... Uh... Patrick County Fire and Rescue Association. Right. Right. But not only that is he has an extreme history, a not just an extreme, but a... That's because he's older than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> he has one of the coolest titles, right? I'm trying, I'm trying to be gentle. <laughs> he is one of the, he's got one of the coolest titles that I've ever heard of anybody in Patrick County. That is the first baby born, 1962, 61, yes, 62. 62. At the Patrick Henry, uh, Patrick County, uh, R.J. Reynolds, Patrick County Hospital. Yes. I'll get it straight here in a minute. Now our First local baby born. Huh? <laughs> now it's our local hayfield. Uh, local hayfield. Yeah. You, could, you could rent it out. I don't know. For, lease it for, for lease cattle. It for cattle. Get you horses, some goats. goats. Get you some goats. Damn, that's it's what It's just we need. a hayfield Stuart out there. Stuart needs some goats, man. They cut down the trees, and I don't know what they did that for. I, if you look up Waste there, there's... Waste there were some, uh, I think there were pine oaks. Somebody got paid. Something up there, they, were, but they were big oaks. They were big right. oak trees. They were all cut been down. been there since the hospital was there. Right. right. So we cut those down, allowed the sun to come in, and uh, <clears throat> the grass grew. But he's been on our show before, and um, and I've mentioned this before, but this, this gentleman here, he's been a great friend of mine for many, many years. I love picking on him. He picks on me just the same. He, uh, uh, when I got into Jeb Stewart Rescue, I was so grateful to have him as a friend because he showed me the in and outs. So a mentor? A mentor. You yeah. could go in and you can do all this stuff by the book, but to be out there on the street at 2 o'clock in the morning when somebody needs your help, you need somebody that knows Well, it's people. like Locke Voice said, you know, they're, they're school smarts and then, and then they're street smarts. They're there's, street there's, smarts. Uh, and this guy's got it. it right here. That's great. Well, That's I've great. Running many calls with Lot. Right. Back in the day. Right. We even had one patient. She's passed now, but she liked either me or Lock or both of us to come get her up. Yeah. And <laughs> move that a little bit closer to you. I'm gonna keep messing it, with it, you until you damn. Until <laughs> you get it over there. Good yeah, morning. Yeah, and she you. just made a point. What are you doing? To call 911. Trying to eat it? No, don't eat it. Just get it closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, oh, no. anyway. Anyway, she just wanted to see us. And, you know, we got old after a while. And finally, last time, Locke just stomped her boots right beside her head and said, Get up and sign this paper. We're going to call the law and have you arrested. <laughs> wow. And her husband said, ah, Get up and sign Sign that paper. It's going to take you to jail. She set up and signed that paper, and we didn't ever have to go back again. Now, explain that to people but, because you know, that's something. I understand that 
Right. That's something. She was lonely, even though she had a husband. But yeah. Outside contact from other people really makes a big difference. Right. I now, mean, because women get bored of their husbands probably a, a year into the marriage. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean. Very much so. Uh, no, anyways. Sometimes. But I, I think uh, yeah. maybe what she was lonely. Uh, sitting up there in in the woods somewhere, and uh, she had some good, friendly people to call, even though it should be used for emergency purposes. Uh, but I mean, I'm telling Attention. you, if I could oh, yeah. if I could call you and you show up and laugh with me, I'm gonna do it. Right. So, uh, oh yeah. We we, we have right. frequent flyers, but you know, yeah. frequent flyers. But you know, you, you you work with them and talk with them and stuff. And after a few minutes, they're happy. You check them out. Right. And they said we tell them they're all good and everything. They said, well, thank you for coming. Right. Like, now expl explain to people that don't know there is a you know as a volunteer you can kind of refuse uh to treat a person if they refuse you you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah well if they're good in, samaritan law i guess yeah well they're in sound mind you know and they say no just you like can't. they say no means no right and we but if we, if we go out the on the call we'll say the, the tones go off we go out on a call and somebody is hostile towards you oh we back out right there right. we don't wait we get on the radio as we're going out the door, hauling for a deputy, get down there quick and, you know, let them handle it because right. we're not out there to be a punching bag. We're out there to help, to help people out. To help somebody. And, and that's pretty common, right? I mean, that happens pretty frequently. With drugs, well, drug abuse and Usually mental. it's not too bad. Uh, it's a very low percentage. But you get those, county. Just, just sometimes something flips a switch and they go, the other direction and then it's like you got to back out and let them have their space right right now i want to back it up i know daniel he usually backs it up but i want to because we, we we brought up the hospital real quick uh and and it's been rumored or it's fact i, I don't know so you're gonna have to tell me but you were the first born child there at the hospital the, yes yeah uh december 17th 1962 the hospital officially opened at 9 o'clock, 4.30 that afternoon, I was born. Do you remember the delivery doctor's name? Yeah, I remember all the... No, no I don't know who it was. Oh, uh, no. But see, now... I'd have to look. We have a picture at the house with Mama in the hospital bed and her holding me and stuff. So that's sweet. Man. I don't know if it has that name. I'll have to look and see. Well, I know you shouted out to your Mama last time. Let's go ahead and shout out to her. And She just recently passed Yeah, uh, just not well, too many years ago. She just passed... Uh, last year yeah yeah and my brother-in-law my sister just had the one year of him passing oh really so they oh, died within two months each other so. really that's hard oh, i didn't know that's, that man we, I'm sorry. we lost sorry. really uh two distant cousins and two close family members in four months wow and, and that man. seems to happen we're going to get a little bit more into that because i do have another story myself you talked about that, that before. right yeah. uh it does happen and it does happen that way but the reason I brought up the hospital is because over the last couple of weeks, we had a ride for the Lauren girl over there at the Eagles Club. Yeah. Yeah. Lauren Worley. And, uh, yeah, Lauren Worley. And I had, I won in auction uh, a, a baby scale. So your naked ass might have been on that baby scale. <laughs> that might have been. <laughs> 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 But it, it was. Go ahead, it, it's the hymen and get him straight down. <laughs> I would say probably not. It'd be over sixty years old. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. It is. It, it, I will have to bring it out. It, this scale is probably sixty. Every bit of sixty years yeah. old. Well, look up under his sticker for our and, R. J. Reynolds Hospital. Yeah, right. it, it was presented uh, from a hospital or from a doctor's office. I can't remember. I can't you know, either. if I had a memory like that, I would be able to tell you. Come over from RGR. But there is information on the scale. There is a, it did come from a hospital. RGR. And it did come from St Stewart area. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, your, your naked ass might have been on there. So well, I, we'll have to I know look of into only that. three hospitals that were in Stewart over the years before the new hospital. Well, let's talk about built. them. So, that well, was the new hospital. I don't know too much on them, but I know of where they're at. Okay. Because one of them was where the library and uh, 
was that first horizons bank so up on the hill oh yeah, really it was one oh. small one so like a house type but really? it was a hospital oh up on the hill oh, that was, uh, probably yeah. west of got a uh, yeah. park there up oh, on, it's right up yeah. Yeah, on top of the hill there yeah. right on 58 right and then the other one if i'm not mistaken was where the blue ridge nursing center. blue ridge nursing center the old the first part of the place is right the part of the hospital and then they built a new one from my understanding now that's could be wrong but that's right. my understanding right right and then so then we got rgr when did yeah. that open rgr 62 62 December so same 17th year. same day was born. No, the same day he was day. born he was the first the baby. same day you were born the hospital, the hospital opened, opened. Yeah. Yes. really yeah wow and that was a community effort to uh I yes mean, uh, I've seen the there, the book is the brass that, book. Yeah, yeah, they they saved it and it's in the hallway at the county administration. And oh, really? I was wondering where it went. Everybody's name in that book gave, I think, at least five hundred dollars. Okay, because they took it out of your pay. Yeah, so it's sort of like you can donate, but we're taking we're going to take it anyway. Yeah. Right. But you know, so, so how in the hell for a thousand dollars? You know, between mom and daddy. That went towards help building. The That's a hospital. lot of money in 1962. So how in oh, the yeah. hell did somebody, you know, get uh, you take it out of your paycheck, and you are buying this hospital, RJR, which is in RJR's name, uh, Patrick County Hospital, and then it gets transferred to who's running this show? Yeah, the supervisors or Patrick County as a county or how it belongs to an individual so we'll see that and it went on for years until pioneer bought it well there's was many different hands it's went through but you know they uh see, pioneer bought it but they were out of mississippi they were yeah and, I remember the, that. and the bad thing about it was <clears throat> this hospital was making money yeah but they were taking the profits off the hospital and using it to keep the stuff trying to build other stuff in Mississippi. Like, oh, so who suffered? We did. We did. We did. Right. Right. They right. pretty much. Now, what year did they get it? Because I know Walmart oh. opened in two thousand six. So I think the Pioneer come in twenty ten somewhere. Am I wrong, or was it before Walmart? I think maybe it was before Walmart. Yeah, it probably it? was before Walmart. I think it was before Walmart. And then in 2017, they folded up. Yeah, the best thing to do that place is take a bulldozer to right. it. Right. And right. From start what I've from heard, scratch. it's start, start rat from scratch. infested and, I mean, mold. And it's well, see, I had an idea. Um, and I know that to start, we need a hospital. But we I don't, need a damn hospital. But I don't see a hospital coming in. It's, in today's world, that's not how it works. Uh, hospitals don't come in and buy an old rat building. infested building with right with uh stuff falling down they'll just build a new one right yeah. uh yeah. It's, how, it's how it works but man for a veterinarian hospital that thing i mean it could be a 24-hour service you could right. have you could have five or six doctors working in there and be a place i mean like if you drive an hour in any any direction you run into a 24-hour service right uh, that would be interesting to, to well, try to purchase always go and cut all the addition they did from the original hospital and use the original part of the hospital would give you plenty of rooms to have examining rooms oh yeah 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 and if something really big comes in you got the emergency room that you can bring them straight in where yeah uh, i think we can come we in could, and I, something I, like I that i run transport up there and it was uh i mean it was nice it was nice oh, on yeah. the, the second with, level with the additions or the renovations they did to the original first yeah, part of the hospital they did really good you know if you cut everything off the back and push it away you may be able to use that part of right it. but that was yeah anyone but, 2012 right now, any, course, any, we're any talking big. 12 you know 14 years ago well with the more. sale they did you know the guy bought it now from my understanding he has sold it to his brother yeah for a mental institution and they do a mental and a drug rehab center and it's and still sitting there with weeds growing there. up i mean it's it's sad so, Dilapidated, the dilapidated, dilapidated, dilapidated. Yeah. Well, you know, it's eventually, like if they keep it up, if they hadn't caught up <laughs> the back taxes yet, it's going to be eventually the counties and the towns because I think it's all it was. I think he just transferred it to you know to his brother uh, in Chicago, 
and just uh we're, we got to deal with it we got to sit there and look at it yeah we don't have to deal with it. we got to sit there and look at it so one thing i can say about our leaders and there's not much that i can say about our leaders in patrick county unfortunately <clears throat> they're they're good people i think for the most part but one thing i can say is they didn't fall for that deal of well we're going to just give you the hospital or if you pay for what we've done to it then you can have it yeah that's what i gathered out of the news article anyway yeah. I'm, on, I'm 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 with everybody else i'm lost in shit yeah, it's as like far buying as a pig and a poke because the asbestos stuff is still there and right. everything so then you're gonna have to give pay us somebody tour. to tear it down right. and remove all that stuff and no telling what that's gonna give cost. us oh god give us a tour like you said i think the best thing is flatten it out just come in bulldoze it all over and hopefully somebody with some money i would hope carillion would wake up or yeah, Novant that, or just, whoever. You know, who's going to pay for the demolition? You know, who's well, going to pay for that? I if, would if hope I, that Pat, maybe Patrick County would. If a host, would. No, I mean, I would try to sell it. Yeah. I would try to sell it to somebody. Uh, if, if a hospital is going to come in, that, you know, that's that's an ideal location just because it's been the location. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if a hospital was planted anywhere else on any of the thousands of acres that Patrick County has, uh, that that's more than likely what's going to happen. So right. the demolition, I, I would try to sell it to a still somebody's interested in, in it. I, I would try to sell it as a whole still. It is good, you know. But it is I good just prime so this location. would only be what I'm about to ask is is just hearsay, I guess, because like you said, you were born in '72, '62 or '60. Why did I say '72? Because I was getting I'm to myself. '62. Uh, what was the need for the new hospital? Uh, was there a dire need? Uh, do, do you remember equipment. just modern equipment? Yeah. yeah, and and that's exactly what would happen now because the same years have gone by since that old hospital to the new hospital, well, newer hospital, and the same equipment would be to the next uh, generation. Right. Uh, they just have oh, yeah. things Technology. designed different, technologies different. You need a helicopter pad up on top of the roof. You need, you know, uh, the, the things have just changed. So just some to, of the equipment out for the general public now, it looks, they got a thing, it looks like a commode plunger that will force that piece of whatever's in your throat instead of giving the Heimlich maneuver. You hit him with that about twice and pull it pulls the part that, out. Really? Isn't that great? Technology, really? isn't that great? Yeah. Or anything in that old building, like computer-wise, Daniel, you know this, uh, within the last 30 years is all this small now. You don't yeah. need a whole room for it right. for that information. It's right now here. it's all just it's right here. Flat. It's all little, you know, or... It's, it's crazy. It's, it is. Technology it is wild. Is nuts. Right. I think we just need a place to where we can go and triage somebody and then get them to a place. Yeah. It's, you know, it's like, well, you could speak on this more than I could, but even back in, you know, 2009, when I was running 2007, when I was running, it was, you know, 30 minutes to Martinsville Hospital or, th you know, 35 minutes, even more to Mount Airy. Yeah. So, but to have that area to where you could go and triage somebody with a doctor and let them see what they're going, do you need to fly them out? Do you need to take them to another better hospital? Well, right now, if there's nothing here, we uh, utilize the helicopters. Right. Ungodly amounts. Ungodly amounts. See, that's what I was. I've, and that ain't gotten cheaper. That's no. what I've said in the past, though. If we're not going to have a hospital, at least we need to have a, a, a helicopter. And I'm thankful for and that. And I know that there's one down at uh, the Spencer. Yeah, the Blue Ridge uh, Airport. Right. but, but We saw them fly there's over. There's two there. Oh, is it? Thank God. I don't there's know one the from Baptist and there's one from another company there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's our next. If we can't get a hospital, that's our, our best next option is to have a helicopter on standby just right there. And the oh, price yeah. of that's increased, I'm thinking, what, 50000 a flight? Uh, Probably somewhere more. Right. Depends on how bad you are. Yeah. Oh, really? Depends on what they've got to do to keep you getting and going that's, to get that's, down there. That's almost like so. That's almost like a uh, mobile emergency room, though. You got the paramedic. Oh yeah, they've got all kinds of equipment in there yeah. that they can do stuff with. The Gary Hairs. Well, oh, that's changed too. I mean, it's not just a helicopter ride. You've yeah. got you got somebody got in there. Yeah, to give people's going to take care right. of you on the trip to where you need to go. Well, my yeah. uh, paramedics and I mean just uh, you know. Well, they have, they call them flight nurses. I think <clears> that's what they call. Oh them. really? Yeah. I had a cousin uh, just a couple of weeks ago get in a motorcycle accident. 
over there on County Line, and he had, he needed told me about it. he needed to be airlifted, and I appreciate that. Uh, I, I got yeah, he I, got food barn. So what ha <laughs> what happened was, uh, and I heard. I heard something was going on, or there's a wreck on there, and I got I get nervous, you know, uh, oh, yeah. when you hear what area people live in, and you know, at one two three Pine Street. If Mot I heard a Mot motorcycle was down motorcycle. there, I'm going I'm going to be questioned. I'm right. going to be. Oh yeah. So uh, I heard that there was a, a wreck over there, and I was I have a group of friends that my cousins in there, you know, a, a couple uh, friends were in there, and I'm like, hey, is everybody okay? Give me a thumbs up or something. Yeah, and it wasn't, and uh, we didn't get a thumbs up from one of our friends. It was actually my cousin, um, and it, it was him. Uh, and I think good Lord was with him. I tell he you, was. I tell you, he he uh, and, and what he went through. Good and, Lord was and with still him. is. Oh and yeah, still is. Uh, he broke his pelvis, his femur, his foot was sewed back on. Shaved his uh, teeth. Shaved his mouth, his teeth, all his enamel on his teeth were shaved off. Single vehicle accident. Um, and so much blood was lost with that femur break that they had to give him a transfusion before they even put him on the helicopter to take off. Wow. And yeah. all of this, um, you know, I, I got a little insight from, from you all, and I appreciate that heads up. It, it, it really helped me out. But. Uh, that that helicopter saved his life. That, oh, yeah. there, there would have been no other oh, yeah. no other way to survive that without no, that chopper. No, for right him, there, that he know. would have had to have been transported to Martinsville from there to it a trauma happen. center. He wouldn't have made it. He would never made it. Never no, made absolutely it. Not. Never made it. Live today because of the helicopter. Yeah. So yeah. definitely shout out to Air Care and uh, the other transport company. Yeah. But I will tell you this: old Chris Gibbs, he is he's healing up. He's at home. Uh, he's a tough old bird. Right. He's he that a tough old bird. He's like, everybody kept on asking me. I seen him Friday. He's like, everybody keeps on asking me how, how bad my leg hurts. And I, and for the longest time, he's, hey, I don't feel my leg. Like it's my it. pelvis. My pe but now One's his, overriding the other. Right, right. But now his pelvis is healed up pretty good. Now and now his legs. leg's hurting like a son of a gun. Tell him to wait till winter months. Oh, I, I'm not going <laughs> to tell him nothing. I'm just going to let him heal. It's see what he does. It's going to snow on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> 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 but you know, as like we was talking a while ago before we got started, uh the forty five years. Yeah. Uh, the flood of seventy nine. Right. Will be, yeah, 40, we were doing the show before years the show. Years right. We were right. talking. Ago. Hard to believe. Right. I was young then and then uh we rode so out by Commerce Street. You went by what is the auto place now, they build engines there. Right. Uh that was the Pepsi warehouse. Really? There was two liter Pepsis everywhere. <laughs> I mean, they were in the river. They was on the road. They mm -hmm. were ever because the water <laughs> got so deep, it went into what is now Tony's Pizza, what used to be downtown, hop in. Downtown Stewart. Downtown Stewart. Wow. That water got up in There's the a business. Dang old so creek we're talking about the River. Yeah, the river yeah. right there yeah. in downtown. Yeah. Downtown, yeah. It, yeah. For so those that up. don't know... If you want to, if you want to go on Facebook, there is a, a site called Patrick County Archive. You can get on there; it's a private uh, site. But all you got to do is um, ask to be a part of it, and we'll gladly get you a part of it. But you can see pictures of the flood of '79. Now, it don't show anything about downtown Stewart, what you're talking about. I'm glad you were there, so you can do it. But it does show you where was it? J.P. Stevens at the time, or oh yeah, J.P. Stevens. The water was all the way up to the ceiling in the basement. God. And then it was probably five feet or more on the inside of the wow. first floor. And this is before the, what is it, viaduct or whatever the they flood call canal. it? Flood canal. Yeah, before they got built. That's what it. is the result of that. Oh, gotcha. But gotcha. they said that was the 100-year flood. 100-year flood. And I'd be daggone six years later, we Boom. had another one. Hit it again. Everything downtown was underwater again. Wow. Now, I remember when I was a little kid, uh, you know, we lived on the eastern side of Patrick County, and so our main route was Collinsville. We'd go through Bassett and go into Collinsville, Martinsville, whatever. And I remember Bassett flooding. I mean, oh, yeah. it was a just, uh, just a, well, you couldn't go through there. It was well, a dang mess right there where the, I guess it was the YMCA or whatever that is right now. Yeah. Right there, and there's a Napa or was a Napa. I don't even know what those... Oh, areas yeah. are called right there on 57 but i mean it was underwater 
right there at probably the intersection of Blackberry. Yeah, Blackberry. Yeah, Blackberry. Yeah, on the other side of Blackberry. It's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, the road down through Blackberry was... And I haven't seen that since. And, you know, just like I said, even though they got the dam up on field pot... Yeah. Look at last year. First time the waters ever went over the spillway. Over the spillway. And then everything down the river, they have no choice... They can't stop no more. And we got pictures of us down there at the bottom of the dam. Yeah. You know, we were sitting there just trying to measure each pillar that went up. I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was damn, that's a lot of water. Well, that's what like, I've 250, been at, 240 feet, like 200. That. Yeah. I did the math, it was, and it was on. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that was it was set. right on. Yeah. Well, we were at uh, yeah, Goose Point cool. one time when the water was way up, and it was up to the first parking lot then really and that's nowhere near where the water was going over the dam so i'd hate to see what goose point looked like i know man that's, that's a lot of water's got that's to back a up lot somewhere of water and then and once just, all that comes can down you, imagine you gotta worry you about have the junk. dam we just live in that area we just live in the area where i mean at patrick springs you know yeah. there's water in water, the water. ground water is everywhere water, 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 water. streams creeks rivers everything's around us uh i lived in southern california and they're fighting over water. I mean, they're, they're, they're out there. They, they get, I lived in Hemet, California, and you can look this up. Uh, their average rainfall per year is less than an inch. We get that a nighttime. A little, right. A little, little Easily. spring you know, rain. We used you know? to get a, a tenth of an inch, quarter inch, or half inch. Now we're getting one, two, three, four, right. eight inches of rain. Yeah. Like, at one time. At one time. It, it, well, amazing. we it's need some rain crazy. now. I don't know if you guys noticed driving down we here, do. all the yards are brown. Yeah, hay mine's fields done, are done brown. That. Over three weeks now, it up. hasn't rained in Patrick Well, County. yeah, how that works. Whatever festival's getting, oh, that's right. Floyd Fest is coming up in July. <laughs> yeah. so you know how that works. <laughs> right. It we'll always rains for, for rain. that. So, right. you know, so speaking, of, speaking of fest, we're going to kind of, you know, switch topics jump here. Around. And jump around here. As a, like what we do. We're being real. We're being real. Right. He's how did the uh, summertime fun go? You mean the sun in the fun? Uh, hot, how's it go? Hot, hot fun, fun in the summertime. summertime. I think Beach it was music festival. 42. 42 years. It's been a little bit longer than that, but, you know, we yeah. had the pandemic and that oh, shut everything down. That I remember year, when so. they canceled that. Yeah. But it was really nice. Uh, they probably, still trucking in some sand? Probably, yes. They trucking the sand and they get everything. Uh, Danny and Mike That's Hazelwood has that park looking pristine. When they get ready to have that festival, they do a phenomenal job. Well, I noticed they, they got a, some, the trails are paved and the... Uh, from what I've seen, or the trails look better, and the trees are kind of thinned out better yeah. than what I've had in the past. Well, or a few seen of them the get past. old and decrepit like we do right. and fall down, and you have to just get them up and get them out of the way. Yeah, yeah right. they do that to me <laughs> once park, in a while. I mean, the park. But it, it's, it's, they uh, have plenty of gravel on all the roads going around, so you have no problem getting around. Uh, this wayside park. I think they stuff. had approximately over 130 campers. Really? And that's wow. not counting tents and stuff. These yeah. are campers, motor homes. I mean. And you had you a camper over there. Yeah, yeah. That's a big shindig. Back in the day. That's a big shindig for. Back, uh, back in the day, I remember. Old the crowds old. are getting younger again. Really? And they are very well behaved. Nice. So. Well, you need a good safe there's place old, to go. There's young. I've seen. Babies in strollers and really? old people that probably could have used a cane walking around. Wow. Yeah. Because. Like Galen. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> use, I use one over there. What are you talking about, monkey You mother? just sit back and had a good time, though. Oh, yeah. Well, I sort of stick around. I can hear the music from where I'm at. I'm on Corner the Central. The same place? Corner Central. I love it. Best, best love place. It. The only place that got a fire yeah, pit in front of it. And, yeah. Yeah. So uh, the old camper I had over there sort of. I remember running Passed rescue away, so up I there and uh, seen them. Oh, you there. got a new one. Well, I got a newer one, but yeah, yeah. it stays at the house now because I use it. Right, and you just pull it right over there. But I, I remember back in the day, only time I ever went, actually, and I run rescue, so, of course, you get in free when you run rescue. And, just and then you work all day it. long, so the free don't yeah, look as good after you Free is not free. <laughs> it's your time. But, uh, At least Mr. they did feed you. Yeah, they did, yes. And Gaylen Gilbert was there, and we had a good time. And 
I extended my time. I was supposed to leave, and then I just come back over there, and uh, we come man, to the top of the hill. Yeah, come on top to the hill, man with the festivals. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, but anyway, we want to talk about some more festivals that are coming up here in the next couple of months. Yeah, we'll, well they talk just about had their here. bushels and barrels. I didn't yeah. get a chance to get down there. That's but the Reynolds Homestead. Yeah, Christ. I heard they had a good time down there. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, We'll talk more about it. We're going to come back up. We're going to take us a little break, and then we'll be right back with Mr. Galen Gilbert, part two, talking about Patchett County here on Be Real, the podcast. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we're back. Thank you for joining us here. Be real, the podcast. We are your host, Daniel Lewis, brother Chad Hudson, Peckerhead. We are all, especially Peckerhead. He's all like, man, can y'all please hit that subscribe button right Ready. here on YouTube? If you're watching us on BTW21, thank you very much. If you're watching us on YouTube, thank you very much. Because Look how bright we are. We, we are, are super bright. We are beautiful. Not people. in the mind, but in the body. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, about the I body. Look at, that sh Look at that thing. Look at that oh, thing. Lord. What are you doing? <laughs> what you eating, Chad? Everything. That's some of that sourdough bread. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that sourdough bread. I don't know nothing Katie. about it. You know, Katie, Katie has... Makes homemade sourdough yeah, bread. She has... She ha what, Damn, what the what hell the, was, was that? that? Did you blow one out, Galen? Christian, was that you? I think it was Galen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think Galen... Lord. Galen, did you have Mexican before we <laughs> got Anyways, Katie's got this sourdough bread, and you, I don't understand it. There's, like, <laughs> chemistry to it. You know, she has a starter them, on them the... things were on sale at the last that, benefit. Yeah, but that's $25 the... $25 a pop. That's the finished loaf. The loaf. There is, there is a jar on the counter that's collecting yeast. And, and it's for days. Days, and then she's got to feed it. I'm like, you got to feed it. You got to so feed it's, it. It's living. Then you got to beat it. We're not talking about and then you gotta We're talking it. about the bread. <laughs> <laughs> you got to feed it. Just, it does live that's on what they call it me. Does they call me up. sourdough boy. Sourdough. <laughs> sourdough oh, chin. Sourdough boy. You got to feed it. You got to beat it for days. And then it rises to perfection. <laughs> it rises to the occasion. <laughs> but there's all kinds of steps. I'm going to tell you what. She has made not only the sourdough loaf. She has, or, or whatever, she has made English muffins. Really? Like with the nooks and crannies. Yeah. Nooks, really? Nooks and crannies, bro. Put the butter on it and oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> like okay, you got to bring some for you now, Dan. Yeah, we got to get and done with then, this. And then she makes sandwich bread out of the discard of the sourdough. So you have the sourdough loaf. Mm hmm. That's this big, big and this big round yeah, I saw a piece of, of bread. Right. But With a crawl senator. Right. Kind of crossy. Well, you can mark it when you bake it. You can right. put all kinds of designs, and she does that. Right. But then there's a discard of the sourdough. When I hear the word discard, I'm like, throw it away. Yeah. No. You put it in a different pan, and that makes loaf bread. So she got a pan about this big, and she pours it in there. And it doesn't have that sourdough richness. It's kind of lame, like. And how, how long has this been going on? Bread. Man, it's been going. Look at it. <laughs> this has been going on a long and time. I, I look like it's getting I'm close to nine any, months. I've not right. had <laughs> not, Gave us in nine months. You about right. I have not had any sandwiches of this. Well, salami. I or, have. You have. I have. We Damn roast it. beef, any kind of sandwich. Thanks, like Katie. The best thing. I love you. The best thing <laughs> is the English muffins. Oh God! Homemade English muffins with a. Now I've always heard what an English muffin is. What is an English muffin? Like what? What? What she makes is the English muffin. It's it's sourdough. Sourdough. But in in a muffin sandwich form. form, so you could cut it in half, put it in the. So dish. is that butter or how you eat that? What is apple you, butter? You can do whatever you want. You, you can just, put eggs and. You know what eggs? I like? You ever have a, uh, what's that McDonald's thing? McDonald's English muffin. English muffin. English muffin. McMuffin. 
with the sausage, egg, and cheese. And you could do anything you want. I just like putting butter on it. I'm a Brit. And you go to work with this, and you're like... No, I don't show up to work with it. I I eat it before I get there. I eat it before I get there. I ain't... Yeah, he give it a secret. Down. He go give that secret out. Seven thirty in the morning. And then you then you could cut a piece and you could put it in the oven and put gar. You could have garlic bread out. God. Like it's just it's bread, man. It's, it's limitless. just bread. It's, it's just whatever you want to do. Right, man. Shout out to Katie. Right. I just don't. I don't understand the whole live yeast thing and right. and like. I'm glad she has that mathematically figuring right. out things and. I'm, I, I would think that's, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to be anything personal or, I mean, it's not really personal, but a woman thing. Uh, but I, I don't see a man being that technical. You're going to hear some to, shit. I wouldn't say nothing like that. Yeah. I just, yeah, somebody, somebody's going to get screws. on there and like, I can make some bread and it'll be a, well, you well got for York, us. Most of your cooks are men. Yeah. Right. What, really? Yeah. Huh. Who do you well, think brought us out west? You ever play Oregon Trail? Yeah, the cook I did. was a guy. I always died of syphilis or something. Dysentery. <laughs> Dysentery, yeah. It was one of those. <laughs> Chlamydia. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> I played it. It was one of those. My, my Oregon Trail people, they had a lot of fun, okay? There was chlamydia, <laughs> syphilis, and I mean, there was some shit going on. They were doing some things they shouldn't be. Right. That was so a, we're here with good looking Chickawas. <laughs> Chickawas. <Yeah. laughs> Ain't that right, Peckerhead? Yeah. So we're with Galen Gilbert. Galen Gilbert, number two. Number two. Thank you, brother, Version for being two. on here. Oh. Version two. Okay. Yeah, it's not two of me, thank God. Yeah. Just yeah. once enough. Part Ooh. two. So uh, we left the second half or first half with you talking about festivals. You are a festival man. Well, I like to you kind of keep up with a little. Can. Yeah. Well, yeah, we have I festivals have a, up there in Patrick County. We got the Peach yeah, Festival, the Strawberry Festival, right. the Dog yeah. Shit Festival, we the, had, the, uh, the Apple Festival. Double Festival. We, we got had festivals for yeah, everything. Front Porch Festival. We had a uh, Floyd Fest Festival. Oh yeah. Up just, until about well, what two years ago. Everybody was in thought County. that was Floyd Fest was right. in Floyd County, and it was. But it was in Patrick County because. Yeah. It was all in Patrick County. Just a few little areas of parking for the volunteers was in Floyd. Oh. And somebody, I always seen it. They went up there and pulled the Patrick County, Floyd County line sign up and threw it in the grass. <laughs> and I enlightened a lot of people there that, uh, how y'all liking Patrick County? He said, right. aren't we in Floyd? I said, no. no. You're in Patrick County. Pay attention to your deputies. What shirts were they wearing? So right off Patrick the Blue Ridge County Parkway Church in Patrick County was the Floyd Fest. Festival, yes. yeah, Floyd Fest. So, yeah. do you know who who put that on? What and why did they call it a Floyd Fest if it was in Patrick County? And well, it was last year that they moved it he, to he Floyd. Don't know. He's well, last shrooms. year they couldn't do it because they, everything. You know, they didn't get it done. He was eating the hell out of some shrooms. He don't know he don't who was shrooms. playing. He can't remember. They, uh, there was <laughs> those are four people. Bellas. There was four people was involved Portabella. with it, and they came to Floyd County to do it. They, you know, they all lived there in Floyd. And they come to find out that Floyd had an ordinance against festivals at the time. Okay. Mm. Because they had one back in the early years that didn't end too well. Really? So they had a... Right, li- had liabilities a, or a insurance. I, I think it like, was a lot of yeah, things. Mm. Right. Yeah. Breaking into the nearby Target. Tipping over <laughs> cows, you know, whatever. So they, they, came, and, they, they, they came and took they that back. It, they couldn't do it there, so... They came to Patrick County really? and uh, done the pitch and everything, and we would supply them with fire and rescue. That was all we had to do. Yeah. And, uh, Sammy Sheila and them played the first year they had it. Oh, Him and, really? Uh, I think maybe huh. Doc Watson. Yeah. 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 The and, Patrick County boys coming yeah. up in there. And uh, it was pretty bad the first year because as it got ready to start, the remnants of a hurricane come through. Oh, boy. And it was wet, but they kept going at it. They kept chugging at it and everything. And, you know, people like it. Word started getting around, and each year it got a little bit bigger, and then it, kaboom, there it went. Boom. Big it was time. What year big. are they on now? Uh, oh, 20, Lordy. 40? It will be. I can't remember now. They 
advertised it. But last year they Floyd didn't have it, right? It, last year they didn't have it. They didn't have it because it moved it, and it they moved was like and they were doing areas. some things. And right, I right. don't know, but there were some people that was given a little opposition, and I think right. they might have uh, sent the government up there to check on them, and really? they had no permits of nothing hey, to do. Nothing. So everything come to a halt. Really. Oh. And then they had to submit the plans and get it all approved and yeah. do everything, and it was no way for the festival to take place. Man. So they did it like they did when the pandemic hit. They done a rollover, so people gotcha. have tickets. If you still want to come, you can kill coming next right. year. Kind of like They'll Blue Ridge a, Rock Festival. Oh, don't get me on that. I uh, know. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. That you know was, a little bit about that one, too. Yeah, that's. Some bullshit. But well, yeah, I was thinking the people that run it. An S show is all what about it was some money. because. I went to the one that they had there at Danville, mm. and I swear I thought it was at Woodstock. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I mean, you nobody was picking up trash. You didn't know what mud nobody was. Nobody was not or doing that. No, or there turds. Was, <laughs> no, there was no rain to it. It was just. I don't nobody know knew, mud or turds. Nobody knew what nobody was doing. The parking was crazy. Mm. Uh, we just happened to get lucky, and we come in through the back way and got over at the site itself, and they had us park, and they, the guys that was sitting there, and we was all talking, he said, well, if you got your tickets, they go over there, you get all your bands and everything you need. So we went over with our tickets and got all of our bands, and yeah. so we went right on in and parked right down below the gate. And wow. It was close, but well, we left the trash was as high as your vehicle, <laughs> and cars Crazy. parked on both sides of the roads going all the same way and hundreds upon hundreds of people are walking into the festival. Wow. I mean, it looks exactly like Woodstock, except you were close. Wow. <laughs> well, well, Galen, wow. Back, back to Floyd Fest, do you think it's uh, beneficial of any way that Patrick County pick up something similar to what they were providing for the Floyd Fest? Do you think we could call it something probably could have hung on to that call one. it something well, else can we call it patrick county fest or i mean they, if, they if, could possibly they should have hung on uh, to that you know they come in and destroyed most of the stages and everything at the old site really yeah and i don't know and it was like three why. three stages two big stages a big viewing area uh and destroyed they had, them. A, had a cabin really that they had built i mean beautiful cabin and destroyed gone. them it's gone but do you believe really? it brought in a, enough revenue for for oh, Patrick if, County to oh god to benefit With off doing something? The name of the place being the site of Floyd Fest, right? That's going to be your first pool. Yeah. At the old Floyd Fest site, everybody knows where it's at. Yeah. That's all you got to say. The Floyd Fest site, right? Where they used right to off, be, right, right off Luigi Parkway. I mean, and it was right when just, I passed by. Hell, Patch, I never Patch even Patch been Patrick County's there. Floyd Fest, or or yeah. something. I I just oh, you just call it. You can call it Patrick Fest. Right. Yeah. I, don't, I do not remember anything about Patrick County Tourism supporting that whatsoever. Well, they did. Did uh, they? They got money from the county, which I guess it's the EDA or whatever. Yeah, right, right, uh, right. Economic development, whatever. But as far as supporting it, as far tourism, as advertising it or anything. I they mean, would give them so much money, and they would use that to do some of their advertising. Local stuff. Or, yeah. But not nothing supporting anything that was going on in Patchy County no. as far as the event. Well, Even though it was in Patchy County. Well, but it was they, called Floyd Fest. Uh, they gave <laughs> things like safety rope some tickets they could sell. Oh, they, shit. They we got safety money. ropes. Yeah. And Thank stuff you, like Patchy that. Patchy County Tourism. But that that helped them that way. So, you know, it's, right. it's, it's, some of it come back. And we had shoot. deputies up there, too. Yeah, of course, they had they to pay get, them. Yeah, they had to pay back into overtime. The yeah. Right, right. And they're there. I'm not sure how late they stay, but I'm thinking they're there 24-7. I would sure say. Office is. Right, I would say. Ain't that crazy? But, wow. But yeah. that's all moved over now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's like. When we would sit there where they had the showers at, and I would just talk to people. I said, y'all enjoying in Patrick County? They said, what do you mean? I said, y'all not in Floyd. Y'all in Patrick County. Patrick the whole County. festival's in Patrick yeah. County. But we didn't know that. I'm like, that's best kept secret today. It is. You know. Right. For years. Yeah. For years. The whole time it was there. The whole time it was there. Yeah. I don't know what number it is now, but, I mean, it was 90% Patrick County. Oh, yeah. 
And, you know, the uh, Front Porch Fest, they do their festival over at Spirit Haven Farms. And right. uh, it's a very personable type, you know, it's not a mob. You don't have to fight a crowd. That's great. It's just, I think, just the right numbers to have a good time. And yeah. I have to worry about sitting on somebody or bumping into somebody right. or whatever else. Right. And they do a and real it's good a one real family good production. One family production. Yeah, I've shouted out to them. I'm trying to get them on the show. They don't want anything and to then do they, with us. They've got for the, some uh, reason. That sucks I don't know. Good. I don't know Whatever. why, but well, they do a lot of stuff down at the Star Theater. Right. Too. Exactly. Ever since they started doing free that. promotion. Free and promotion. That's all it is. But Come on a show. Get some no, free promotion. No, uh, no response. Nothing. No nothing. nothing. Whatever. But it'll be all right. That's what it is. What it is. All right. So. What else going on in Patrick County? Anything new going on? No, the rescue squad's still there. So how, okay, why and is, how? Let's that's bring the main that thing. We've all been concerned, <clears throat> and you are a lifetime member of Jeb Stewart Rescue. You're a lifetime, uh, right, right? Yeah. Okay, lifetime member of Patrick Springs Volunteer Fire Department. Yes. We got a couple of months ago a news article talking about Jepster is going to shut off or shut down June 1st. Yeah. Well, for people that don't know, can you go can you go a little deeper on that? Why? Why are they well, shutting down? It's it's just like anything Medicare. else. Medicare is got not paid. Hacked okay. Twice. The state of Virginia or federally? I think or? the whole kit and caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. Because, right. you know, we bill through Medicare and Medicaid, right, and right, right. Uh, we didn't receive nothing from them for six months. Really? And it's hard to keep something afloat doing no, that. Right. You know, you go through what monies you do have, and then you get down to where you're getting a little behind. Yeah. But finally, some and of the money did been, come through, and they did catch most of all their bills up, and they're in good shape there. Right. And uh, they decided to go back right now as a volunteer squad completely and do the best they can at the time and whatever's left uh the other squad will pick it up right town. so here we are june what is it 18th yes um they were talking about june 1st they were a hundred thousand dollars short they were looking to yeah. the patch county board of supervisors and the the, the taxpayers kind of supporting that until they get payment from Medicaid. Um, so what are they doing now? I mean, have they received the money? They have or, received a lot of the back know? pay that, that got them caught back up on got them the caught back bills up. and everything. So and they're they, still running calls. They're Jeff still running on. calls. They right. ran calls this weekend. They're doing the best they can. It's just like everything else. Yeah, I've seen them the down there kids, at the Northern Hospital. They don't care about nothing about volunteering no, and helping out. No, if I it don't. ain't a video game on that phone. Right. They have right. no, yeah. Just imagine what else is going to suffer. Are we talking about volunteer, the fire department, the rescue squad, and I think it's going to just be countless of what this new generation of just watching a phone or playing a video game is going to bring. Uh, oh yeah. You know, Daniel, he uh, orchestrates volunteers. We most of our guests that come on the show deal with some type of volunteer work of, of, of some sorts and uh, we're just going to run into people that are just out for themselves right and, oh i uh, think we already did no we em have no empathy whatsoever for their surroundings and uh it, it it's sad to see stop playing my snake damn it uh it's just sad to see uh <laughs> well but, like i said if these kids if it ain't on a can and a shelf they don't know where it comes from right or, or have the, you know. You know, a lot of the people in Patrick County are starting to go back to Cannon and stuff yeah. just in case, you know, with the way they're buying up farmland and letting it sit idle now and then somebody has this big wild area idea that we need to cut a bunch of trees down. Uh, right. Arbor Foundation always said plant tree is going to help our atmosphere, so why are they wanting right. to cut all the trees down? Right. Well, right. personally, you, right. don't, you don't want me to get out on that because I get all. That's a, I get that's a, a big soapbox. That you is, get because uh, if you look back and you talk to my grandfather, you'd have to go back, you know, 40 years to do so. Uh, where he lived, there, there weren't the trees that we see today. Uh, there were a lot more animal uh, animals out there on the prairie. There was a lot of more animals eating this vegetation that kept all this vegetation down. 
And then in the early 70s, they were like, plant a tree, plant a tree. Well, let's say you're welding something or you're using a blowtorch. What do you need to make that thing hot as hell? Well, you need oxygen. So all these trees are producing all this oxygen, mm -hmm. and I think that might be contributing contributing mm -hmm. uh, to burning up the ozone or or creating how hot it is in our atmosphere right um, I, I I just think that we wiped out as, as a whole we wiped out the buffalo we wiped out the you know we wiped out everything the deer, native to America. everything native to including America the including the natives yeah and now all <laughs> including of a sudden, the natives we have Damn. we have trees where there wasn't trees before because all these animals used to keep the plains and keep all this stuff down so uh we just keep on mixing and messing with the what Trying god's to make created better well look at these chemtrails that they're running across oh, i don't know what you're into that you know conspiracy theory or not oh. i watched at in patrick springs at boys in holland I watch a perfectly blue sky. I mean, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. And next thing you know, we see a, a plane fly by. Then another one flew by. And then within three hours, the sky was lined up with all these trails going from you, east to west. And right. I've got pictures of yeah, this. Yes, I remember you sending Going that north to south, east to west. Perfectly blue sky. Perfect, not a cloud in the sky, and it was, it was uh, forecast to be a clear day. Yeah. And it was. Up until 10 o'clock in the morning. Right. 10 o'clock in the morning, all those trails that these planes were leaving all started blending together. What are they feeding us, man? You know, and I'm not trying to be conspiracy theory, listen to this guy, but I've seen it with my own eyes. Own eyes, right. That makes my own eyes. difference. Right. You know, uh, I've watched planes my whole life. I've drew planes as a kid. <laughs> yeah. And that one time have I ever drew a Right across the sky, you know, so I don't know what they're trying to, I don't know if they're trying to, I wouldn't think that they're trying to poison us no. with uh, chemicals, but maybe, maybe they're trying to alter the weather, you know, I, I don't know. Have you seen these, these oh, chemtrails? Chemtrails? I've seen or? them all the time. Right. Yeah. Well, it's weird, ain't it? Oh, they've been doing it for a long, a long when time. I was, when I was a kid, you'd see the exhaust on a plane, and it would be about the length of the plane or maybe a length right. later. But these things are shooting across the sky. One thing so, I do so, have, so, so, one I thing, know. I mean, I don't know if it ties into that or not, but one thing I can say is, born 1978, like you were, uh, 75, and you 62, um, what has got my... Uh, what has changed, and I took all the, I mean, I guess, my parents gave me all the vaccines they recommended, just like you did. We're getting in some serious, serious conspiracy shit, but what it is, is I have never seen an uptick in mental health as far as ADHD, as far as uh, autism, as far as anything else, as far as transgenderism, transgenderism, uh, homosexuality. Everything is just happening. They turn in the into frogs thing. gay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Let me get my foot up. <laughs> Hold up. Keep your foot up. Uh, no, they're, they're I don't know. Mental I mean, illness. I have no mental mental, mental illness, illness right now, has spiked a... beyond three hundred percent in the last two decades. We're just not, according to records or whatever I think they're it's saying. Everything though, I, we're not eating food anymore. Oh yeah, the um, food. Even in my own house, we're talking about Katie. Yeah. Katie does the sourdough. Katie, do, you know, we we've got chickens at the house. We mm. collect eggs, and we. But still, if you go into my kitchen, yeah. and you look up into anything you want to eat, yeah. it, it's chemical, chemical, chemical. Yeah. Uh, Shit, some, I can't even speak. Some factory, I don't even know. right? You go get a, a bottle of Coke, and I mean, you can't even. Half of the nutrients label is just, I mean, I well, can't even. A lot of this started it. back in the 70s when they started putting this fructose corn syrup in everything. There you go. Corn. So they say it's corn, but it's high fructose corn syrup. It's right. crazy. That and cottonseed oils and all these God. Veg you know, vegetable oils. We used to have natural and... sugar back then. And... Right. So it's not going to affect the person as much as it is when you were producing a person 
So a man and a woman takes a man and a woman to produce a child, and you produce this child, and you already got this chemical in you. Well, they're inundated with this chemical, and they come out, and then you take all these vaccines and you shoot them into them. Uh, for all, I'm not anti-vax, but it's it's weird. It's a weird situation to where we are sitting in this situation uh, that we weren't just several decades ago just you know four three or four decades ago that was never i never heard anything about any of this stuff and then all of a sudden it's like boom 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 and i truly believe these people that are you know whatever they say they are and uh whatever they truly uh think that their gender is i truly believe that that's what they think they are because um it's not necessarily what I believe, but it's just what they, I mean, they, they have the heart for it, but I mean, I don't know what caused that in them. And I'm not saying anything caused it into them, but it's just a weird situation that the world was that earlier. Where was that earlier? I don't know. I don't know. We're getting on the whole, uh, I'm getting on a totally different uh, subject, but you know, all just, up, it, it just blows my mind. Yeah. It just blows my mind. Anyway, back to the festivals. Um, Back to Jeb Stewart Rescue Squad. Getting ready to close down June 1st. They're still going. Yes. And is there any progression as far as uh, the community leaders into helping that survive? How is mm, that going? No. There's None. not much <clears throat> help there. So we have a new community. Uh, I mean, wait, not community. We have a new county supervisor, uh, county administrator, Beth Sims. Nothing. Not, a little bit? Not. No? Not, but I don't, would really want to elaborate on because it could be a bad situation. Right. But, you know, they they made an offer on a few things. and uh, So from what I've heard, down. what I've heard, they were hoping maybe, just in my opinion, I'm just bringing this up just so you can elaborate on it. Um, they were hoping maybe Jeb Stewart would fold up and they could take over Jeb Stewart's uh, over there on American Legion Road. They could take over the property of American Legion Road and run Patrick County EMS out of Jeb Stewart Rescue Squad. Yes. And who, and who is the uh, emergency coordinator? Uh, Scotty Castle. St Scotty Castle. And he took that over from... Uh, when Steve Allen retired. Steve Allen retired. Yes. So he is running. If we see a Patrick County ambulance that says Patrick County EMS. Patrick County Fire and E. Uh, old, and fire and red, EMS. Yeah. Red truck. Yeah. Fire and EMS. Yeah. They do both. And so they're based right now in Stewart, right there below Main Street, right there across from Subway, kind of. Right yeah, kind of, sort of what we call the old Moody's building. The old Moody's building, yeah, where they had the funeral home. Yes. So they're based many, many right now. Many moons ago. Many moons and now. He he took over after um, um, Mr. Uh, God. I I thought a lot of him. He's from the Ariat section. What did you say his name was? Steve Allen. Steve I didn't Allen. Give a shit yeah. About him. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's gotta personal. Get, gotta get my feet back up again. <laughs> it is. But we got Scotty Gazelle now, and uh, they're pretty much. In my, I, mean, I don't know. I'm a taxpayer. Except for us, he gave us Thank a you, brother. I'm a taxpayer in Patrick County, so I'm only limited to the Enterprise, which comes out every Wednesday. And thank you, Patrick County News. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, and that's not much on Patrick County because they don't get a lot of information unless he gets paid for it. And uh, he's never got paid for any of it. Um, that. You have this rescue squad that's running, what is Jeb Stewart Rescue Squad, run about 80% of the calls? In we uh, had 1,200 calls last year. 1,200 calls. Yes. And there, and we thought two months ago when they the news come out that they were going to shut down June 1st. And they are still probably on the brink of... They have not oh, received yeah. any money from Medicaid, Medicare, or well, they've whatever got, it is. They've got some to take care of. I don't know how much more might be out there yet. And but. this is to bring up the 
the supplies and oh everything the ambulance Fuel, everything it makes it run whole nine yards rain it may make and so sounds like county, you need a collection agency right you so want us to go I, knock on some heads or what, what do you need us to do <laughs> <laughs> but as far as the county's going as far as the best sims of uh county administrator the scotty Cassell, uh this kind of is that a positive or a negative that they're trying to help Jeb Stewart Rescue Squad? Well, it's, just in your opinion, it's not been a positive for us. Not been a positive. How's it been a negative? Or well, we didn't mutual. Didn't get the extra money we needed. No, no but extra money as of June first. Yeah. Nothing. And really, and truly, ever said if you look at the county budget, <laughs> really, really close when it comes to funding. EMS agencies in the county, mm. there are six of us. Right. They right. only fund it five. Really? They were expecting us to go out. So, they, did so not, they didn't even put that in the budget just in case we didn't go out. So can I say they did not fund Jeb Stewart? Not right now. That may have to change her. In, in the Patrick County budget, they did not fund Jeb's to a rescue. They didn't squad. fund. They fund five out of six rescue squads. Right. Which one did they not fund? Um, pretty sure it's Jeb Stewart. Jeb Stewart. Out of that one. Because they thought we were going to be gone June first. June first. That was it. So. Uh, and I know it's hard for you to speak on. I'm, I'm I'm talking as a Patrick County taxpayer. I want to know these things. I mean, you know, we're both, um, uh, just like you are. But I know with you that you've been a member for years and years and years well, um i just want to support whatever i need to support you know oh yeah i want to do whatever i need to do if i'm living in the mayo river district or peters creek district um uh, jebster rescue squad has a huge district that they run into and i mean it's not oh, only them but it's countywide let it it's county there wide. At one time jeb stewart covered Approximately two thirds of the county. Right. All the way up Charity, all the way up to the Floyd County line. Right. Still Everything. running three units. Yes. Still running three ambulances. And yeah. Thank I, goodness. I hear them daily. You know, with the Boyce Holland right down it's the right road. Right there, American right Legion the Road. road. I right. mean, they're they're on it. They're gone. They're uh, on a day. Well, I think in '86, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Smith River formed. Yeah. And that yeah. took a lot off of us. Thank God that you know they. Yeah, that's a great group of folks over there. And yeah, they work hard. And I love they Crystal do. and all of them. Oh yeah. Yeah, great people. I never agreed. Well, uh, there was a few things I didn't agree with Crystal on the board of supervisors. But as far as EMS goes, she's been a saint oh, in yeah. the area. Well, she's like the rest of us. We're moving on up in age, and right. We were hoping a these lot young of ones need people, to know. They need younger to know people it. would come in and get into this uh, business, right? And you know, right. So we're getting ready to fall out of here. We thank you for being real with us, Galen. We, I definitely want to have you back if you will. Thank you for your time to come out here and travel. Uh, we're three. in Barnesville. <laughs> part yeah, three, part brother. Three part three. Up. Most requested as uh, as of right now, the most requested Be Real podcast was Galen Gilbert number two. So this number is Galen one. Gilbert number two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We want to have you out here again. I should have watched the first one so I knew what they wanted to hear. <laughs> So we would have something to talk about. It had to be different. It had to be different. It had to be different. But anything else you want to shout out before you leave? I mean, it, they, they could uh, go back to uh, uh, Galen Gilbert number one and find out. We went a little bit on your background, talking about where you came from, your mama and all that. I definitely wanted to His shout out His naked ass was on my scale. Right. I got that. Right. I'm going to have right. to look that up make sure. We love this guy. Was. He's a lifetime member of Jeb Stewart Rescue Squad and Patrick Springs Volunteer Fire Department and the president of Patrick County Fire and Rescue. Fire and Rescue. Thank you, Gabe. Yeah. Very much. Love so. you, man. Thank you. Always have. Always will. Anything else you want to say before we go? No. No. Right at this time. No. Sourdough. I, I kind of threw it all out oh, there. Oh, Lordy, he's going on sourdough. I'm going to have to bring you some of that sourdough. Kind of threw it out there a little bit. All right. We love y'all. Hey, y'all be real. Come on back. Come on back if you want.